name is Alicia Harris. I'm bodybuilding.com sponsored athlete, also Optum Nutrition sponsored athlete, and I've been blessed to have been a two-time cover model, 2009 Muscle and Fitness Hers, and Oxygen Magazine, 2012. My background, I come from a pretty athletic family. Uh, my dad played basketball, football, and track in college, and my mom also ran track. My brothers play football. My other brother is still a professional track athlete, uh, running for my mom's country, South America, Guyana. So I've always had the athletic genes in my family. I ran track in college. After track, I didn't know where I was going to go. Um, I always wanted to be an athlete. I always wanted to compete. So um, I decided to embark in figure competing. I knew nothing about it. I was working an internship. I was working with a friend who was actually a bodybuilder. I went to one of his shows. I saw the girls on stage and I was like, I can do that. And so um, he kind of told me a little bit what to do and stuff like that. I did my first competition. I got fifth place. And of course, I wanted to do better. So um, I kept on doing it, learning more. And it's brought me where I am today, five years in it. My focus in this sport, I think that um, it's not just working out, but it's also helping my mental and my spiritual and kind of just discipline factor in all of those uh, different sections. Um, I have to be physically fit, but I also have to be motivated enough and mentally strong to get through it all. And then I also pull my strength from God. I'm a believer and I'm very um, spiritual and I have to pull strength from that too and just to make sure that I can get through it right and stay focused and not get off course. People send me messages on Facebook or Twitter saying that I'm inspirational. So when I go to different events and expos and stuff like that, I hear it. So, I mean, it motivates me to keep on doing it and do better for myself. And actually, it gives me motivation that I'm motivating somebody else. Most of the time, I will do cardio for maybe six days a week, maybe long cardio, maybe short cardio, and then I'll also be in the weight room for four to six days, depending. But I always keep my body guessing. Like, I never do the same thing every single day because I will get bored. I do like doing, it's a sort of CrossFit type of workout. It's more of a dynamic workout. So you work with sleds, you work with prowlers, you also get some weights in. So it's kind of like a bunch of everything into one workout. So I'm actually like working out as an athlete. So it's not just um, one zit, two zit, all that stuff. So it's more functional stuff. Um, I feel like it hits my body a little bit better. It keeps my body guessing and it keeps my mind going. And, and I mean, it is hard. My heart rate's always up and I actually see results within my body fat and stuff. Just keep, keep it on moving and circuit training and stuff like that. I usually do it on like a four day split, but I'll um, compile different muscle groups with each other. So like I'll do chest workout with my shoulder workout. Two days later, I'll do my leg workout with my shoulder workout. Um, I'll have one day for a back day. And my last day I'll do um, tricep and arms. So I mean, I'm hitting most of my body. I'm always working to better myself and I always have a different goal every time I do stuff. So I never plateau, so I always have things to change. When I am training for a show, I don't think there really is a rest day. Like I'll do what they call an active rest, I guess. I'll do some walking, I'll get my heart rate up just for a little bit, so I guess you can call that a rest day. It's not like a, I'm going to the gym doing weights, doing cardio, getting my heart rate up super duper high. So I will just do some walking, um, but more like fun walking, like going to the mall or something, walk fast. So I guess it is kind of like a rest day, an active rest day. I do a good amount of shows, so like I guess you can say when I'm not physically training for a show, it's my off season, but I um, mean, it's good to stay somewhat in shape and kind of close so it won't be as hard training for the next show. I do really take like two, three weeks off because I'm just so tired and it's really draining to um, prepare for a show. It, it, it's all worth it. You just got to get up and go. I mean, like I said, um, in, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and getting the same results. So you have to change things up. You have to get motivated. You have to uplift yourself somehow and just you just got to do it. With my meals and how I diet, it all depends on my shows. I am not a calorie counter. I just make sure I get a good amount of protein um, in my meals, a good amount of carbs, less uh, carbs than the actual person actually thinks that they need. For people who walk up to me, I do say like, if you have a chicken breast this big, you probably have like a carb count about this much. So like half of your protein, you always want more protein on your plate than you do carbs. 
With my schedule, I will wake up first in the morning, um, eat breakfast, then around 11.30 I'll have my next meal, 2 o'clock I'll have my next meal, then 4 and then 7. That's what works with my schedule, that's when I can get my meals in. Everybody's schedule is different and everybody eats more or less. Just have something to chew every 2-3 hours. In my diet, I eat a lot of chicken. I boil my chicken sometimes, it's easiest. I make a bulk amount of it, so I will bulk a whole bunch of chicken and boil it all out, cook it, eat it, bag it. Lean fish, tilapia I eat, um, halibut I eat, tuna sometimes because it's easy to travel with if you have it in the little packet. Those are the main proteins that I eat. Um, for fats, sometimes on my diet I'll have almonds for fats. Some people use peanut butter for their fats as well, and guacamole are uh, usually my fat sources. For my carb sources, I do incorporate sweet potatoes, uh, sometimes rice, oatmeal of course in the morning, and my vegetables. I'm like the general public. I, I like eating out sometimes. I like um, M&Ms. Like I eat cake, I eat cupcakes, I eat cookies. But I will minimize my amount that I snack on. Like I won't have like three bags of M&Ms. I'll just have a little bit at a time and snack on this and snack on that. When I'm training for a show, I'll try to have it more in the morning so I can try to work it off later in the night. But I just have to watch how much that I eat of it. And I don't eat it every day. So if I want a snack, like I'll have a snack. If you're going to a restaurant, there's a cook. You're paying for your food, so you ask for what you want. If you don't want them to cook with oil or cook with butter, you tell them that. Some people make fun of me because uh, I order stuff, I ask for a salad, I'm like, okay, will, will you put the cheese on the side, the dressing on the side, the tomatoes on the side, will you put everything on the side so I can put it and distribute it myself? They usually do it. I mean, it takes a long time to order, but there's always chicken, there's always vegetables, there's always salads at restaurants, so I really don't have a problem eating out unless it's like a week or two weeks from from a show, but other than that, they don't put that much crap on the stuff. I mean, it's not gonna kill you, so um, you can order what you want at a restaurant. And I don't think you should stay away from them. You have to enjoy life. You can't just live in a box. Well, I hope this doesn't get me in trouble, but <laughs> I do drink alcohol. Um, I do love daiquiris, but I know how much sugar is in them, so I kind of just scale back on my daiquiris and margaritas and stuff like that, but I will have one ever so often, um, not when I'm training for a show. And sometimes, if I do need something, a shot of alcohol, it's got less calories, I'll consume it. Not a lot, I don't get drunk, I'm not a drunkard or anything, but I do consume a shot or two or whatever. It's less calories than a daiquiri or a margarita. So I just try to be smart on that end too, just picking the right choices. I do feel like I have pretty good genetics, so I probably could do it without supplementation, but I probably wouldn't be consuming the right amount of calories without like my protein shakes and getting a good amount of food in. And I know I wouldn't get the nutrients I need, but with my workouts and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't be able to recover and feel as good as I would if I did take them. So it's a lot more helpful when I do have those nutrients in my body and when I do have, the, have that right amount of calories for my system to help it recover and repair. I don't get the nutrients from my food, so like the multivitamin is very beneficial for me. When I don't have all my food with me, um, everybody's busy, everybody's doing this, doing that, they don't have time to carry food around with them all the time, so um, protein powder, protein shakes are really good to incorporate as meals when I'm hungry, when I need to eat, and those are the two main things that I really, really believe in, and I really think that supplementing things that you don't have, um, it's really beneficial to get those products that you need in your daily lifestyle. While I'm training, I do take a multivitamin in the morning when I get up. Um, I usually get some cardio in in the morning, so I will take a fat burner. Not recommended for everyone, but it just helps me with my cardio and trying to you know, burn more fat, get my heart rate up. I'll also take CLA, which um, helps with losing the body fat, um, L-carnitine as well. Um, so those are the, some of the main tablets, pills that I take. Um, I do have a protein shake in the afternoon. And sometimes when I'm hungry at nighttime, I'll take a casein protein. It's a thicker protein and it's uh, kind of beneficial at night so I don't consume a whole meal or anything like that just before bed. Throughout the year, I think that I actually get really lazy, so I drink more protein shakes when I'm not competing because I'm not making my food and I'm not so disciplined as I should be. So I probably just get lazy and drink protein shakes instead of like making actual food. And I do off season, I'll forget to take pills. Like I honestly, I just forget. Um, I'm not as regimented. I just feel like I can take a break on everything. So during when I'm not training for a show, I get kind of off a little bit, but 
Um, every once in a while I take them, just not on a regular basis. I think there's so many supplementations out right now. If uh, people have concerns with certain proteins or any supplementations, there's so many out there that you can find the ones that fit with your lifestyle. Um, there's natural proteins, there's vegan proteins, whatever their daily lifestyle, whatever their beliefs are, there's something out there that can fit them. I don't think anybody should be scared of taking them. There's certain things for your certain goals. If you want a certain thing, you can find a certain product. Wherever they're at, what store, you can talk to the people um, behind the counter and ask them these questions and ask them if this is the right product for you or ask people who take the product. Um, Bodybuilding.com has the reviews, who likes the product, who doesn't, what benefits and all that kind of stuff. So um, there's different sources that you can look up and it's really good to get the products for you that you need. That's what I do for my training, nutrition, and supplementation. I know it's all over the place, but if you have any other questions, please contact me on Bodyspace. Or if you want more videos, articles, or contents like this, please go to bodybuilding.com.